Hello friends, welcome to AutoCAD video tutorials. I am Prabhu and you are watching this video from CybercadSolutions.com. In this session, I am going to explain two advanced selection methods. First one is filter and second one is quick select. Filter is used to select objects based on a particular condition. Let us say we have different size circles over here and if I want to select circles with radius 1 unit, we will use filter command. So how to use filter command to select circles with radius 1 unit. Take filter command shortcut that is FI. Type FI at command prompt and press enter. You will get a dialog box over here. And we have to select circle radius from the selection filter. So scroll down and here it is select circle radius and here what is its value that is equal to how much units say one unit and click this add to list button so that that property will be added to the filter property list so here we can see the object to be selected is circle and its radius must be one unit now we have to apply this filter on all the objects so take apply option click this apply button and you can select using a crossing window or you can type all also at the command prompt and press enter again enter to finish the selection you can see the circles with one radius are selected similarly if you want to select the circles with a particular color say there are some red circles in this group of circles so if you want to select only red circles in this group we can also select using filter command so type fi at command prompt and press enter now here already there are two properties we can remove these properties using clear list option given over here click this clear list button and go to filter properties and add color option here select color and here button is there to select which color we have to filter so click that button and select which color is to be filtered out and save ok now the color number has been selected as 1 so color is equal to 1 we need to add this to the filter property property list so click this add to list so that one property is added to filter list that is color is equal to 1 at the same time all the red color entities will be selected so we need to make sure only circles with red, red color are to be selected so again select object type as circle so I am going to add circle and add to list. So we can see object is circle and its color must be red. Now we can apply this filter. So simply click on this apply button and simply type all and press enter enter. You can see all the red color circles are selected in the drawing. So this is how filtering particular objects. Let us say here we have some lines and some polylines are there. Let us say if you want to select only lines, then how to select only lines in this group of objects. So we shall use filter command. Type fi at command prompt and press enter. Now clear the existing uh, filter property list by clicking clear list button. Now add line object to the filter property list. Here it is. Click add to list. You can see line object now say apply click on apply button and you can select like this and press enter you can see only the lines are selected among all the group of objects so we can use filter command like this we shall try one more thing there are different text objects here and among them few text objects are given text height with more than one unit so how to find how to find text objects having height more than one unit so we shall select text entities with height more than one unit so how to do that type fi at command prompt and press enter now clear the existing list and open this uh, selection filter property and go to text height option here it is text height it must be greater than one unit that is what we are going to use the current condition so open this equal to symbol and take greater than and enter the value that is one unit so we are going to select text objects 
with height greater than one unit. Add to list. Click this add to list button. Now use apply button. So click this apply button and select all the objects. Press enter, enter. You can see only three text entities are selected whose height is greater than one unit. Similarly, we can also select the text entities with one unit. So we can modify the existing filter property. So take filter command, type fi at command prompt and press enter. Now here already we have used text height property earlier, but we have kept the condition that is greater than one. We can modify it to equal to one. So select this option and take edit button over here. Now change this greater than button to equal to. That is we are going to select text entities with height is equal to one unit. Now after changing this value, we have to click substitute button because if you are changing existing properties in the filter list, you have to click this substitute button. Now you can observe this greater than symbol has been changed to equal to. Now simply select apply button and you can type all at the command prompt and press enter to finish the selection selection so that all the text entities with one unit height are selected. Hope you understand how to use filter command. We have to select the property and its value. Now we shall see quick select. Shortcut command for quick select is QSEL. Type QSEL at command prompt and press enter. You will get quick select dialog box. In this, it is very simple uh, to understand this. Here it is saying apply to entire drawing. Then what is object type? Let us say we are going to select circles with one unit radius. So just open this and select the object type. Then select the property radius. It is over here and set the condition operator that is equals to 1.0 because we want to select circles with radius one unit. So apply to enter drawing object to be selected is circle and the property condition is radius equals to 1.0. That is the filter property we are going to apply. Simply say OK. Now you can see all the circles with one unit radius are selected. Similarly, if you want to select the lines in this group of objects, so how to do that? Again, type QSEL at command prompt and press enter. You will get quick select dialog box. You can use a selection facility also rather than going to entire drawing selection. We can apply this filter on selected objects only. So for that, click this button and select the entities and press enter. Now in selected entities, what is the object type you want to select? Now I want to select lines. So select line operator equals is here. I want to select all the lines. So select select all option and say OK. Now you can see all the lines in the selected group of objects are selected. And again, we will see how to select the objects whose height is more than text objects whose height is more than one unit. Again for that type QSEL at command prompt and in this quick selection, uh, let it be entire drawing apply to uh, let it be entire drawing and select object type as text and text height here it is so it is height equals or say greater than 1.0 that is our filter property so in entire drawing text height greater than 1.0 that is our fil filter criteria simply click ok button you can see selected text entities with height more than one unit. So this is how using quick select that is very simple, very simple to select using quick selection method. Hope you understand. We can use quick select to select entities with multiple properties also. That is we can use multiple properties in quick select also. Let us see how to do that. So I want to select circles with radius equal to one and color is equal to red. So first of all, we will select all the circles with radius equal to one. So type QSEL at command prompt and press enter. Now in entire drawing, I want to select circles whose radius is equals to one unit. In entire drawing, circle radius equals to one unit and click OK. You can see circles. You can see circles with radius equal to one unit are selected. 
just leave that selection as it is and type QSEL again so you can see apply to current selection now we are going to select from the current selection again object type circle color equals to red simply click ok now you can see white circles are left and only red circles are in current selection so this is how using uh, multiple properties in quick selection now we shall see selection cycling let us say we have some duplicate objects like this let me draw a rectangle over here like this and another rectangle with some red color like this now you know that there is a white rectangle behind these two green and red color rectangles if i want to select that white color rectangle and move from here to somewhere else then how to do that we have a facility called selection cycling so type selection cycling at command prompt s e l e c t i o n c y c l i n g and press enter now its value is 0 if you set it to 2 now if you click on these duplicate entities a pop up window will come with all the duplicate objects listed in that you can select any object so i am selecting this white polyline now you can issue move command type m at command prompt and press enter and simply click the base point and destination point like this you can move duplicate entities let us see one more time i am typing undo so first of all type selection cycling at command prompt and make sure that its value is 2 it is already 2 now you can take move command directly or you can click over here let us say we took we take move command type m at command prompt and go on to these objects just click over here you can see duplicate entities there are two entities one is green color one is white color so i am clicking white color polyline so that white color rectangle is selected press enter to finish the select selection and click the base point and destination point similarly if you do not want this facility to be switched on that is wherever there are duplicate entities if you click li like this you will get a palette uh, showing the duplicate entities listed in that so if you do not want this facility means if you want to switch off this again you type selection cycling and enter zero value so that this setting will be switched off so that even you click on duplicate entities nothing will happen friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and website and share my videos to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session